Okay, so in this video, um, I'm going to uh, sh just walk you through real quick how to install um, ArcGIS Pro. Um, <clears throat> it's a little tricky, but um, it's certainly a lot easier than when uh, we used the old Arc Map. So, um, <clears throat> first of all, what will happen? Um, is Casper College has its own ArcGIS online account. And let me sign into that right now. You won't do this part, but, but I will. Um, and so the first thing that will happen when the semester starts is I will um, come in here and I will add uh, members um, to this list of people here. So your, your name will be in this list and you won't know that, but what will happen is, um, you know, I'll go to invite members and I will um, <coughs> Enter in your email, first name, last name. So your email will be your MyCC Casper College email. So you'll want to make sure and check that. Um, and then you'll you'll get an invite uh, to join the Casper College uh, ArcGIS online organization. And, and what you're going to have is you'll have a username and password. And you're going to need that username and password to sign into ArcGIS Pro um, when I get it to you. Okay, so the first thing is, is, you know, look for that email uh, to join the Casper College ArcGIS online organization. Um, and you'll set up your account then. Okay, so step one, look for the email from Esri. Um, the next step will be I will send you uh, instructions for how to download ArcGIS Pro and these are what the instructions look like. Now the title always says version 10x ArcGIS for desktop. Now we're going to be using ArcGIS Pro but these instructions are the same same instructions and I get these from Esri. Okay. Um, the other thing I will also send you is a user code. Okay. You will get an EVA code. All right, and I'm just going to use this one as an example. Okay, so uh, once you get the email from me to sign in and get your ArcGIS online account, um, you will get the instructions that I just pointed out, which are these, and then you will also get an EVA software code. Okay, um, and so if we follow the instructions here, uh, you can check your system requirements for your computer to make sure you can meets all the requirements for the software. The next thing you're going to do is go to this website here, esri.com slash education edition. So I'm going to go to that website. <clears throat> and so the first part of this website, it asks you, you need to log in to activate your license. Um, you Either you have an Esri account or you need to create one. You do not need to create one because hopefully before you get to this step, uh, you will have the email from me and you have all you will have already created your ArcGIS Casper College online account. Okay, that's the email that I was talking about in the first part of the video. So you'll click this link here. I have an Esri account. You will need to sign in. Now I'm already signed in, so that's why um, that's why it didn't let it didn't need me to sign in. But you will need to sign in using your username and password, and then you type in the EVA code that I give you. Okay, I'm going to use this EVA code in this example, but you will use the EVA code that I give you in an email. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this EVA code. Paste it in this line here, and I'm going to say activate ArcGIS. <clears throat> and then you can see the options you have here. So obviously, we'll want to download 
um, the latest version of ArcGIS Pro. Now, if it says ArcGIS Pro 2.2 or ArcGIS 10.6.1, we're going to be using Pro, so you'll just click this button here. Scroll down. And uh, so before, when we were using ArcGIS, this is what we would have downloaded. ArcGIS Desktop, ArcMap. We're using Pro now. So you will click ArcGIS Pro right here. You'll click the download. You're gonna, I'm not gonna do this because I already have Pro set up on this computer, but you're gonna click, cl click this button, click to download file now. It'll download the executable. You will run the executable and it will set up Pro on your machine. And sometimes that takes a little bit, maybe 20, sometimes 20, 30 minutes, depending on how good um, your internet connection is. Um, again, I'm not going to do this step because I already have Pro on my computer. Uh, but you will click this button and you will start the download process. Okay? So I'm going to close out of here. And so when Pro gets set up on your computer, for example, here is the... Um, I, I put an icon for Pro on my desktop, but if you click the Start button on your computer and go to All Programs and go to ArcGIS, the folder ArcGIS, you'll see the ArcGIS Pro folder in here, and you will see the ArcGIS Pro icon right here, and you can move this to your desktop. Or you can leave it there, it's up to you, but if you want to move this to your desktop so it's easier to start up every time you need it. Okay. Then when you start ArcGIS Pro, usually what will happen is it will ask you to sign in. Um, so you'll need to sign in in the corner here. Okay, so you're going to click sign in. And then you will type in that username and password that you got when uh, you got the email from me. Uh, to invite you to the Casper College ArcGIS online organization. Okay, so you'll use the username that you got, and you'll use the, the password that you set up. Okay, so I'm signed in. I can open up my my projects as I see fit. Um, and I can start using uh, ArcGIS Pro. <clears throat> so there's just kind of several steps you need to keep in mind. Um, First step would be look for an email from me in your MyCC email uh, that's inviting you to um, Casper College's ArcGIS online account. Um, also look for an email from me with the instructions of how to download the software and also the instructions or the, the EVA code for the software. Okay. So look for that. Your next step after that will be um, you're going to go the, to the website. You're going to sign in. You have an Esri account. You're going to sign in using that account you set up earlier. And then you're going to input in that EVA code. Um, and then you're going to download ArcGIS Pro Desktop. Okay. Now remember, this EVA code is only good for one computer, okay? Um, if you have multiple computers at home, like some people have a desktop, some people, and then they also have a laptop, um, let me know and I can give you two codes. Um, <clears throat> but again, this code is only good for one computer. The other thing you need to keep in mind for any Mac users is ArcGIS does not work on Macs or Apple computers yet. Uh, what some students have done is they have installed Windows on their Mac and it works in the Windows environment that's on their Mac and some people have had good luck with that, some people haven't. Uh, you can
can certainly try that if you want. Um, but um, ArcGIS is designed to work in a Windows environment, so just keep that in mind. So hopefully these instructions make sense. Again, as always, let me know if something doesn't make sense. Get a hold of me, email me, call me, come in and see me. And, and if it's a laptop, you can bring it in and I'll look at it. If it's a desktop machine, remember I can remote in to your desktop and see, to your computer and see your desktop and I can help you install the software that way as well. So, uh, okay, that's, that's the video on how to download the software. Hopefully we all get it downloaded and we have good luck with it and we can get going with the next, with the semester of using the software. So thanks everyone.